Good morning from the Desert National Wildlife Refuge. We camped last night up here at the top of the wildlife refuge. Up in the tree line, we had a wonderful night. Significantly cooler up here. It was in the 20s last night. Had to share my blanket with Odin. But we slept great, and now it's time to get up and pack up. But if you're new here, my name is Diane, and this is Recreation Outside Las Vegas. Yesterday, we started at the Corn Creek Visitor Center, and we took the Mormon Wells Road up, and we are going to finish the journey today from the 93. So we started from the 95, we went over, and now we're going to start, we're going to finish at the 93. So stick along, and... Let's get started on this journey. On the first leg of the trip from the Corn Creek Visitors Center, we're on Mormon Wells Road and we're gonna take it all the way to our campsite. And I've got Odin. It'd be a good time. We might be the only people out there. And I've got Jocelyn behind me. I think there's the Allman Brothers band in there, maybe some Marshall Tucker band. What do you listen to when you are off-roading? Does the mood change? For me, it depends on where I'm off-roading. That usually determines my playlist. I always love the Rolling Stones when I'm in the desert. It's just perfect playlist. I want to know what's on your off-road playlist. going through Peekaboo Canyon right now which is a really neat canyon there's probably a lot of places to explore in this canyon a lot of traversing nice shade it's actually pretty cool over here on this side it was about 85 degrees in Las Vegas and it's probably about 80 degrees here this is a really neat little canyon I would love to just get out and explore this area. I bet there's some pretty neat Native American artifacts that are around this area. Just It just seems like you would find that, maybe even some petroglyphs. I might do some more research when I get home. getting up in elevation here. We've got pinion pine, we've got juniper pine, we've got regular pine trees, we've got Joshua trees, and the weather is just cooling down. This is going to be such a beautiful night for camping. I'm hoping that we get some good stargazing in. I've got a delicious dinner plan and I'm hungry to have an eat today. 
and it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. The drive is just so beautiful. The beginning of the drive is just kind of rocky and that typical desert dirt road. And now it's more compact and it doesn't hurt as much when you hit a bump. So the drive is just pretty nice and we should be to the campsite here shortly. Alright, so we are at camp. We are just about set up and I'm about to make dinner and then we are going to settle in for the night. So this is my camp set up. I have got my tent set up. And inside I've got my bed and I've got Odie's bed. Nice and cozy. And this is Jocelyn's site. This is her setup with blue. Nice big bed. I am just setting up for dinner. Alright, so tonight on the menu is quesadillas. I've got barbacoa, meat, and cheese. I've got some tortillas. And there's Jocelyn. It's getting chilly up here. So... But uh, dinner should be nice. I wanted something easy. Quesadillas it is. Yum. It shredded up really good. I'm going to make really good quesadillas. It's getting dark. So pretty. Such a beautiful night. We are going to have a good dinner. making some bacon, eggs, and hash browns. We are all packed up, and there's Jocelyn. And we are going to hit the road soon once we are done eating. All right, we are all packed up from our campsite, and we're ready for another off-road adventure for today. We are going to head down the Sir Road and hit the 93 just outside of Coyote Springs. Kind of where I came off of that dirt road coming from the Elgin Schoolhouse when I did the first trial of my car camper set up around Nevada. If you haven't seen that video, I will link to that video below and in a card. Alright, let's get started on our adventure today. Burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright, then my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming on Alright, 
this is where I'm gonna end the video. The 93 is in front of me and I had a great trip. It's early in the morning so I can still get home and take care of some errands that I need to take care of. This was such an amazing trip. Any standard high clearance vehicle could make this. However, four wheel drive is recommended. There are some places where I use my four wheel drive and it definitely helped me out. So if you enjoyed the video, please let me know and hit that subscribe button. All right, see you in the next video. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home Though I fought with my claws and teeth Though I elbowed my way to a seat There'd be no kind of peace like you beside me No matter the rain No matter I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate